I'm Al Roker of the Today Show, and you're watching My Long Island on Fios One. Hi, I'm Joe Sabone from JLC Landscape Services, and today I'm going to show you how to properly install your own annual planting pot for your outside patio. So many times people say, I tried to do my own pot, it filled with water, it, it was flooded, my plants died, did I have too many plants, not enough plants, is it not enough water, too much water, what do I do? Pots can be made out of multiple materials. Um, one of the most common and an older type is a clay pot, um, which you'll find from year to year they crack through the winter. So the newer styles of pots are typically made out of a terracotta or a composite material and they look like the old real world or the old world I should say, um, but they have the wherewithal to, to last multiple winters and seasons if, if they're prepared properly and stored properly. You want to make sure that the planting pot is going to take care of the amount of flowers and the look that you want it to. Again, we want this one, this is going to enhance a corner, a step, a doorway. So we don't want it too big, we don't want it too small. We're going to need the pot. We're going to need some type of rock or drainage material. We're going to then use a landscape fabric. The potting soil that we're going to use won't go through the fabric and clog up the rocks. Again, um, we want to make sure we have proper drainage. We usually look to use some type of taller, more vertical key focal point. This will be our center. What we typically do is work with something like this potato vine that will creep over the side to soften and to give you that real Italian and Tuscany look. And then we pick some type of annual that you may like, like this purple annual, to, you know, to really liven things up and to give you color throughout the season until frost. This is one of the key things that most people fail to do. If the water is trapped, saturates the soil, saturates the roots, then there's no chance of water draining and our plants surviving. This drainage rock, again, will allow for drainage for the water. It also will help anchor this light pot in the wind. And the landscape fabric, again, will be the division between the soil median and the rocks. Here we're using miracle Grow. This is not only a soil, but it also has fertilize, uh, fertilizer installed to help feed for the plants. I like to work from the center. All right, this is very tuberous and grows very, very quick. So I had cut the pot just to make it come out a little bit easier. So now you can see that the soil probably is starting to expand a little bit. We're also going to dig this in. All right, and again, the level is important. So I'm going to keep it right about there. Now, this is going to have multiple shoots throughout the season or continue to flower. So you like to get the nice space if you have the pot situated and it's going to stay. You get the plant centered and, and situated. I like to, as I work, prune off any dead leaves, anything that's damaged. Next, I like to work particularly with the hanging annuals. And this is just going to get planted into quarters. So the next one would be here. Now you may find yourself adding a little bit of potting soil when you water this. It may sink a little bit, so you may need to add a little bit more. And then we're just removing some of the soil, putting this in, letting this creep over, softening, and taking the soil and just kind of backfilling around. This, once we uh, got started, I would say it took us less than 10 minutes. This needs to now get watered in very well and probably well each morning and then just sit and enjoy it for the rest of the summer. If you'd like to find out more tips about how to plant your own annual pot at your home, more tips on your landscaping, um, more tips in general, please visit us at our website at www.jlclandscapeservices.com.